Welcome back to the channel. Time for another quick update. Well, we've been doing just a bit of finishing off jobs in the cabin area. The first thing is we've uh, fitted a lagoon table or lagoon style. It's not actually a lagoon. It's one of the uh, eBay replicas but it's quite sturdy seems well made and it's just under half the price just put a piece of pine timber on there rounded it off varnished it i didn't want too big a table so this table just comes nicely between the the drivers and the passenger seat just nicely fits in there and then of course, swings round to the main bench there. We're still waiting for the uh, seat cover. We've ordered that from a local company down in the town, Castleford Upholsters, I think they call them. We did, we did go to uh, one of the online caravan upholstery specialists and I think it's something like 44 inches by 23 inches by 6 inches thick. I think they wanted 380 or 350 quid, something like that. So, you know, I mean, it's quite expensive. I mean, I'm not bothered about spending money. We've spent plenty of money already, but it's got to be value for money. So we thought we'll have a look round. So we went down there. I mean, this guy's got a shop in the middle of town, so he's got some big overheads. He's not, he's not just an eBay, you know, outfit. I think we're getting it for something like 220 quid. So that's a big saving. Same thing, same size, custom made. So we should be getting that next week. So that'll be, that'll be nice. And then these cushions, these are just from B&Q. So they'll just go, they'll just go at the back there. They'll be up there when that'll be finished. Got a little runner for the floor. So that's that's that, that area's finished. And I've now put some doors on the overhead cabinet. We've already got the control panel in there. So we've got the uh, water heater, diesel heater, the water heater control. And then we've got the, uh, the Victron Smart Shunt battery monitor, which is quite a clever piece of kit. These doors are just held down with magnets. Just straightforward little brass hinges there at the top, or brass plated. No, I haven't put any. Uh, any door stays in yet. We'll sort that out a little bit later on. And obviously at the other side, that's the last piece of furniture that needs to be finished off now. I need to build a little cabinet for the overhead there to finish that area off. Ceiling's all finished apart from a bit of trim to go around that area. So I think we'll be putting some kind of an angle on uh, maybe a bit of carpet on there, I'm not sure yet, but just a little bit of trim to go around there. And that bit wants fastening down somehow, wants bonding down there. We'll sort that out at some point. So, kitchen table. I think I've shown this before. Kitchen table's finished. So there's plenty of space there. We've got a shelf there above the, above the fridge. Just open these curtains and let a bit of light in. We've got a shelf there. Just goes right the way back. We've got the drawers and the cupboard fronts fitted. Still need to fit some handles. I need to order something, we'll just get some little plain little aluminium handles. Got these drawers. The 
they're just on simple little hinges there, little fl flush mounted hinges. Well, there's a bit of adjustment in those, so they're, they're not bad to fit. Same at this side. And then the drawers. Made the drawer fronts up separately. And then made just basically a box, plywood box, a plywood base. Nice and solid. And then just three holes there. And then once the once the drawers fitted and sat in place, just line the front, line the front up. Makes them easy to makes them easy to fit. Because these are, these are just on simple little runners that's a nice little simple job a bit of a shorter draw there plenty big enough for cutlery though that's a bit shorter because in the back there we've got sink waste and the water pipes that's that's done so that's Quite nice, I think. Quite nice little kitchen. It's as, it's as good as I hoped it would be. I'll just put the steps up. I think we've seen the steps before. Obviously, bathroom, that's going to be the last job, really. So, moving into the back here now. So, we've got the We've got the cabinet doors fitted in the back. And we've also got the little palans fitted there and there's actually a curtain rail mounted behind that. So I'm just in the process of trying to find some curtains. These, these curtains at the front here, these, these are nice because these are black on both sides. So from the outside with the tinted windows, it looks quite, quite good. But these curtains that we put on the sides here, these have got these are blackout curtains, but they've actually got they've actually got white lining. So from the outside, it doesn't look too good. So we'll probably change those at some point. But I didn't want to buy any curtains for the black for the back there that have got white lining, and it's virtually impossible to find any full length black curtains with the uh, with the sort of pencil pleated top so struggling to find some but we'll get some so I've got the doors fitted up at the other side as well again these are these are held down with magnetic latches no stays in there at the moment but there's tons of storage in here now and there's stacks of room in there might even put a shelf in there at some point stacks of room in there and of course we've got all of this storage under here. They're real big deep storage areas. Two of those at each side. So we're due to be using the van in uh, about five weeks time. We, we're gonna be going on the first proper outing, which obviously I mean, what I mean by that is me and the wife taking the van out on a, on a proper holiday. So I think it's ready to use now. Once we get those curtains up, it's all ready to use. Everything's everything's fitted and working. The only thing that isn't working at the moment is the gas because I don't I haven't fitted the gas yet. So all I need to do really to complete this project off now is fit the gas and uh, finish the finish the shower room off. Everything else is done. So it's been a long job. I think we've been on it for about 18 months. We're almost there. So I've got some graphics. I'll have to get some graphics fitted to the outside at some point. I'm in the process of ordering some uh, stainless steel wheel liners because you can't really put alloy wheels on one of these vans because it's got the twin wheel rear axle. It's not really suitable for alloys, but you can get the nice stainless steel spun metal liners so we'll, we'll fit some of those that'll, that'll smart you up a bit but yeah overall quite pleased it's come out how i hoped it would how i expected 
been a lot of work. Just have a look underneath. I know you've seen it before. This is the water there. The other storage area. That's where the that's where the gas uh, locker and the gas bottle will be fitted eventually in that back corner there. I'll just crawl through into this area here in that corner and then we'll run the gas pipe along the top along the top of the water bottle there through into the kitchen area and then we'll run a pipe for this water heater we'll run that down either over the top of the door there maybe probably run it down there though and through through the uh, shower room into the water heater which is underneath that bench there and then here we've got another storage area open fronted storage area and then in the back area here obviously that's the electrics and that's complete there's just a space there at the top for the uh, MPPT charger when I fit a solar panel a bit later on in the year we'll fit a solar panel and there's a space there for that to fit and that's the door for the shower room and the door for the middle here the middle bulkhead door I'm not very pleased with it at the moment it's got it's got a bit of a mark in it in the wood and it's, and it's slightly twisted as well so I've already put one coat of varnish on it, but I'm thinking about scrapping it off and making another one. We'll see. And the hinges for the bed. I couldn't buy any hinges, so I've had to make some. So we've just come round to the back of the van here. These are the hinges I've made, three of them. Basically, these are just Parliament hinges in just plain steel so they were like that side there well they were flat they're basically totally flat hinges so i've had to put i've had to put a bend in there so that that can screw down to the wood and then because the hinge position this distance here isn't quite big enough i've had to put another bend there so that, we'll, so that when we actually fit them on, can't quite show you, but that's the, that's the bed, that's the platform there that the hinges will sit on. So this, this will sit on the platform there, screwed down, and then that top part of the hinge there will just fasten onto the top here, and there's three hinges. So that's that job sorted. So that's the next job really fit that because I'm using this van at the weekend. Next weekend I'm going to be taking it off to a, another classic bike rally. And I don't want to be lifting this the entire bed and mattress up and down in one go because it's I'm going to end up with a bad back. <laughs> and I've never had a bad back in my life and I don't want to start now. So that's my job for later on. Either later on today or tomorrow. And that's it. So I think the next time we have, we have an update, we'll be either doing the shower room or doing the gas, or maybe uh, maybe fitting that overhead cabinet building and fitting that overhead cabinet. So thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see you on the next one.